Howdy friends, my name is Wes Lee. I repair band instruments for a living. Thanks for stopping by my shop today. Today kicks off state evaluations for all the bands in Mississippi. And ordinarily you would find me in the audience watching and taking in all of the bands. However, well, at least they're having contests this year. Band directors have persevered through so much. I'm so proud to call so many of you my friends. So today I've been hanging out in the shop. They're doing a live stream. You may pick up some of it behind me. My son's senior in high school and his group's gonna be playing and I can't wait to hear them. They're playing some good numbers and I'm really, really proud of them. Today's a requested video. Gonna be helping out uh, my friend Jason. He's got JB's music in Texas. He sent me some pictures, Valve, that was having a problem. I'm gonna show him a fix. If you're a tech, you're probably going to be interested in this. If you're not a tech, you're probably going to be interested in this. We're going to fix some holes. We're going to play with fire. Let's go. Come on, it'll be fun. Today's project is kind of like meatball surgery. When you can't get a piston or it's just so expensive that the school can't afford anything, you have to be able to either do a drop fill or put a patch inside the valve. It's really last resort, never comes out as good as what you thought in your head, but it's a skill that you need to be able to do. In order to do a drop fill, you're going to want to use a 6040 low temperature silver solder. If you're putting a patch in, then you're going to use a 7030. Let's jump in and make a demonstration to see if we can help JB's problem today. And his had holes all along the bottoms of the ports coming through. Now this is the only one that I had and it looks like somebody used a nail. This piston was probably stuck. They took a nail and tried to drive through, but they went straight through that hole. At least they did stop before they went through the next port. You want to make sure as you're doing this, you're using your finger as a safe edge. You don't want anything to hurt this side of the port. To push. And you can see, I say that you can see, let's get a flashlight. This is about what you get. Now, this looks like it's a ginormous hole as I'm standing here looking at it on the camera, but then also my thumb looks 10 times as big as it normally is. So you have to kind of take that into consideration. This really could be a candidate for a drop fill, so we're gonna do that now. While I'm getting this into position, talking about solders, low temp silver solder is 6040. Normal solders used in band instrument repair around 7030. A higher melting point but it's not to the point of brazing but it has more strength than just a regular soft solder I put the valve stem back in I didn't clamp the piston in a vise also you have to be aware of your heat That's it. It's that fast. I used a tiny, tiny little flame. I wanted a very specific spot. So here's our piston. And notice that the, the port, even where that hole was, is now straight. Now we could actually do some finish work to this. Take the burnisher and make that even, even more smooth. From a destroyed piston to a back and action piston. Okay, for this demonstration, I've cut a piece of uh, sheet brass, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to duplicate the inside of that port.
Okay, once we have the fit of our part, and we like the way that that patch is going to set in there, notice I'm going to give it a little bit of an overhang. Tried that a couple times and it works sometimes, and I've tried it sometimes and had terrible results. You want to make sure that you feather your edges. So here we go, here's our, our finished patch to lay across the inside. It's all soldered in, it's all smooth. Notice I, I went and smoothed this side real good, uh, much more so than I did on this side. You can still see there's a ridge in there. Uh, if this were for a customer and not just a demonstration, then I would clean up this side as more as well. Uh, make sure that you don't come out past the port be careful not to file or do anything on the face of the piston. That would hurt it. And that is how you make a port patch. Jason, I hope this helps you out with your problem that you're having on those pistons of yours. I just heard that my favorite Mississippi band made all superiors. Great news. They sounded great. All the Mississippi bands did today. I look forward to listening again tomorrow for day two of the activities. Thanks for stopping by my shop. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time around.